Hello and welcome to a short mod showcase for Waterworks, which is a mod for Minecraft 1.11 and to use that mod I can simply recommend using another mod that adds some kind of infinite, uh, some kind of finite water. Because normally the water works or the water mechanics in Minecraft are kind of simple with the infinite water sources and so I can just recommend using a finite water mod like um, infinite, water, uh, infinite fluids or finite water control as far as I know. So if you have something like this you are fine, um, if not then this mod will also work. So what is Waterworks about? This mod is all about water collection mechanics. So let's first begin with the simplest parts the wooden rain tank. So recipe itself is relatively simple. I included also a description uh, in JEI for most of my um, blocks so that no further reading should be necessary. So the water or the wooden rain, rain tank itself can hold eight millibuc uh, eight buckets of water and you can change it in the configs as for all the other blocks and items how you want, no problem. And if I just turn on the weather here, so you can see that it should well, I should fill with rain shortly. Um, then the next step from the wooden rain tank would be the rain collector controller and their collector blocks. So I've integrated um, Wyler and um, the one probe, as you can see on the top of my screen, um, as best uh, as it was possible for me. So for um, top, you must use the shift key to have more information about it. And as you can see, um, the controlling block on yeah here um, has currently one collector. It just counts itself as collector. And as you can see, it collects water not uh, with a high rate. And there are like other controllers that uh, other other connect, uh, collectors then that can connect with it. Just use a pipe wrench, which is my simple tool to connect these blocks, and do a right click on the rain collector controller. Poof! And as you can see, we have four collectors found. So. Um, this is a multiplex structure, which you can um, simply place however you want. The one um, thing is that there is a maximum range. It's looking for new collector blocks. And the collector blocks um, has to be faced to each other. So if I want to add, I could like do something like this and do another wrench operation, as you can see. It find now seven more collectors, or seven collectors itself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on one probe, you can see there are now eight collectors. And as you can see, it's collecting water with a rate of this multiplied with the with the uh, standard rate. So all the blocks have also capabilities of forge, so you can use um, hoppers, for example, to pipe in and pipe out items. Also, um, these blocks have capabilities for other fluid can cans, so like forestry can can be filled, or you can fill buckets. So that's not a problem, and as you can, as I said. You can um, pipe in and pipe out uh, with no problems. Um, yeah, same goes for the rain tank itself. The next step, if you are bore, uh, bored by like rain, which I want to stop now. Then you may want uh, to use another block from me. There we have the groundwater pump. This pump needs a clear side of a clear line of sight to bedrock. So if I take a fresh groundwater pump and place it down. 
this pump doesn't do anything. So as you can see, it needs power, it needs, uh, uh, it can collect water, yeah, and it needs uh, some type of uh, pipe, which you can add here. So the pipe itself, just put it in, and the pump itself will try to place down the pipe. And as you can see, now it placed three of the pipes, and we have a, like a valid multi-block multi -block structure, so the, pi uh, the water pump can work. As you can see, um, it works with like forge energy, and I just simply connected uh, a actually additions coal generator via some laser energy relays to my groundwater pump. And if it gets any energy, like we do another coal generator here, so and just place a coal down. Check. Then you can see we are filling up the internal buffer and it um, will automatically try to pump water from the uh, ground level. <laughs> so as I uh, told, you can also like use other mechanics like fluid release, laser release, release from actual additions to pump out your fluids. So just place down a valid fluid block and see you have yeah, like instant eight milli buckets, uh, eight, eight buckets of water and it will like refill itself um, more or less instantly. Yeah, what if you want to break the groundwater pump? Therefore, I uh, added a little good mechanic so that you don't have to worry about your like groundwater pipes or like the water pipes below it. So just break it and bam, you get your groundwater pipes or the water pipes directly in uh, the same position as the groundwater pump and the hole which can on real uh, server applications uh, like 60 blocks deep will close by a simple co uh, cobblestone slab so that you don't fall in. Good, now we have covered most of the blocks. Let's um, yeah, go on with the last two smaller things that I added which I think that I can, can help to learn the mechanics of Minecraft a bit better because normally firework rockets aren't uh, that used that often. So the easiest way to get a firework rocket as far as I know is just use gunpowder, use paper and there you go. Then you get a fire rocket, firework rocket without any uh, yeah, specials. But you can also like do the more fancier way and just say, okay, rose red and gunpowder gives a firework star. And then we make a simple two gunpowder, the star and a paper to get some fancy rockets. So what can I do with these rockets? As you can see in JEI, um, I've added descriptions for the rocket itself for the standard rocket and also for the fireworks star which isn't here anymore let's do another one so here we have a simple description what you can do and how you can get it so because normally um, JEI doesn't have any information how to obtain them so yeah you can use this as little help and what you can do with it is relatively easy, just add a gas tier or a sponge. If you add a gas tier, which I can't likely do in the work table currently, just a normal crafting table will do. There you go, just a normal rocket. And then you just can add like gas tiers. And as you can see, we have a rain duration times eight. If I just take out one, we have a rain duration times seven. So with this option, you can specify how long the next rain duration will tick. So in the easiest way, we just say, okay, like three times should be enough, 720 ticks, and you take out your rocket. On the other hand, you can also like take your rocket and place sponges around it. This will um, break the rain and bring back the sun. 
so and it's a bit longer so nobody likes rain so yeah you have a bit more duration here and all you can do is just take these put it down let it explode and it will start raining and if you don't want any more then just place down your anti-rain rocket and boom the rain will stop and what's fun fancy about it you will get back your sponges these sponges are now wet and can simply smelt it down into normal sponges to reuse it so in that way it's relatively simple if you have sponges to reuse them that's everything about waterworks um, as far as i can tell you now and i hope you have fun playing with it and i hope that i get as much bug reports as i hope and yeah see you in game